So you just started playing Fallout 76. You've grabbed your supplies and your resources and headed out to explore post-war Appalachia. Now what? Truly, there are many different things you can do just starting out. In this video, I will give you an idea of some of the best things to do fresh out of the vault to save yourself some time and headache in the future. Let's start by increasing your carry weight by 100 pounds. You can do this in under 10 minutes by getting a hold of a set of excavator power armor. To do this, you very simply need to complete the side quest, Minor Miracles. To start, find and interact with a Garahan excavator poster. These are located in any of these locations, but your best bet is to head south to the ash heap. Once you've interacted with one of these posters scattered throughout the ash heap, then you're going to want to make your way over to Garaham Mining Headquarters. There will be a few robots that you will need to negotiate with in order to proceed downstairs to the research and development room to access the project manager's terminal. Once you've accessed this terminal, you will have access to the blueprints to the excavator power armor. Once you've completed building it, you simply have to put it on and it will grant you 100 extra pounds of carry weight in a pinch. Then to complete the quest, you must simply just return to the headquarters and have the power armor scanned. The next thing I would highly recommend doing is to find the ProSnap camera. As simple as it may seem, it will be a crucial part of your gameplay. From completing challenges to completing quests, it will be more important than you'd expect. To acquire the camera, you must use My Personal Terminal, available for free from the Atom Shop. Simply purchase it and build it at your camp or a workshop, and access the suspicious person's entry and download the coordinates. Heading to the location on the map, and finding the camera on the body of either Ansel Adams or Annie Litzinger. Once in your possession, all you need to do is repair it at a tinkerer's workbench and your ProSnap camera will be completed. With the camera in hand, the next thing I would highly recommend is to start the Tadpole Scout questline. This quest and its challenges can be done passively, but not until you start it. So, for someone who has played for hours and not done this yet, they have wasted precious time that they could have been accomplishing these simple but tedious tasks. Completing the Tadpole questline and simply three of its challenges will award the player with a backpack that will scale with the player's level and the plan to create them. These backpacks will give you more carrying weight ranging from 5 pounds at level 1 all the way up to 60 pounds at level 50. Completing three of these challenges will also unlock the possum badges, something that may take a lot longer to accomplish, but by completing eight of these challenges you could acquire the High Capacity mod, which would increase your backpack's carrying capacity a further 60 pounds. Next on your to-do list, make sure you make your way to White Springs and do the Responders Reborn questline. This will give you the ability to travel outside of Appalachia, but also start Expeditions, one of the most lucrative loot grinds in the game. This quest consists of three smaller mini-quests, Tedious and annoying, but be appreciative, seeing as when this was first released, this was required each time an expedition was launched. These three simple quests are Code Blue, Mutual Aid, and Recipe for Success. Code Blue is your typical fetch quest, tasking the player with talking to the NPC, Rutger. Then proceeding to find a terminal. After retrieving a package of medical supplies and returning to the responder's medic, the quest will be completed. The quest Mutual Aid will have the player simply donate 50 of one of the following materials. Steel, cloth, wood, or plastic. Sweet, simple, and short. On to the last quest, Recipe for Success. In this quest, you will be playing Chef's Little Helper helping Esme to prepare a stew. She will have you retrieve a few items while continuously stirring the stew. Stir the stew for the first time, then head south into the warehouse section and grab the basket of potatoes, also the basket of venison located on the opposite side of the room. Then head west through the doors into the storage area, grabbing the basket of carrots. 
With your first round of ingredients gathered, head to the sink and wash the potatoes. Next to the cutting board to chop the carrots. And finally, pound the venison with a hammer. Once all that is done, add your ingredients to the soup pot, making sure to stir intermittently so you don't burn the stew. Finally, head west into the storage area from earlier and grab off the shelf black pepper and also salt. Then, once again, head back to the stew and add your ingredients. As a bonus, by completing the quest, you will be given a stew and a choice to give it to the raiders or the settlers to increase your reputation. After you're done with the final of the three mini quests, talk to Skippy. You can find Lennox by heading to the nearest elevator and meeting her on the roof. Once you've spoken with Lennox, congratulations, you are now ready to face the wasteland. This was just a quick video with some basic ideas to help you get started in Fallout 76. As always guys, thank you so much for watching.